Hey guys, so for the people who didn't know it, I am playing keyboards in a progressive rock band called Mystery and I wanted to do a little tour of my rig on keyboards to uh, tell you everything that I've got on my rig and how it works for me. So first of all, I have some Archuria keyboard controllers. So this is an Archuria Keylab 88 here. And the second row, the that one is an older generation. It's the Analog Experience, the Laboratory 49 keys. So these are my uh, two keyboards and they are connected via USB to my computer. So I have a little USB hub here. Uh, because I don't have enough USB ports on my Mac, I have uh, two and I need three because of my both keyboards and the sound card that I need to plug here. And this is plugged with Velcro so it doesn't fall uh, during the performances. So I said that I have the sound card. For now I am using my Focusrite 6i6 that I use for my studio. But I might just buy another uh, audio interface just for touring because I'm kind of fed up to unplug everything every time that I have a rehearsal or that I, that I leave uh, uh, in Europe with my band. So I might buy another audio interface but the principle is that I need one to connect to my computer. Of course I have a sustain pedal too that goes to uh, the Keylab 88 controlled by it. And it's really important to say that the USB hub is powered. So there is a power supply in it and uh, it's uh, plugged here. Because if you don't have a powered USB hub it takes all the juice from the computer and if both of my keyboards and my hub are powered by the computer it might overload us or just shut down so it's important that it's powered and it's plugged okay so now it's uh, plugged via USB here on my computer and I have my Mac which is a very good Mac it's a late 2013 maximum RAMs uh, it's 16 RAMs and it's a Intel Core i7 so it's a very good Mac that I bought used and uh, just before that I show you my software which is main stage 3 I have to show you that MIDI control center this is where I tell my keyboards to have different channels because if I had the default first channel for both keyboards if I press a key on that keyboard that would press it automatically in my computer so I have to assign different channels for both. So with that MIDI control center I can tell that the laboratory which is the second one I can tell that it should be on the channel 2 and if I go to the key lab 88 it's by default the channel 1 for both. So now that everything is assigned, I can show you my uh, main stage 3 uh, software. So this is basically where I make all my patches, my layers, my splits on my keyboards and I control everything with it. Um, I'm using a lot of sounds from the Arturia plugins that came when I bought the Keylab 88, but I use a lot of stock plugins and stock sounds from main stage because they are really really great uh, the the organ is unreal is very good like this <laughs> so the organ is very good on it it has some very unreal mellotrons, string mellotrons, very good. Sorry because I play only with one hand because I hold my camera here. I hope it sounds good because it's just the camera audio. Uh, like I showed you on the organ, 
uh, I can assign any parameter that I want to some faders or some knobs. So in that case, the first uh, fader here control the Leslie from the, the organ. Uh, actually, I can be go on perform mode so you will see better. So it controls uh, the Leslie right here. So you see, when I push that fader here, it's automatically doing it inside of the software, you see? It moves between middle and I can try to uh, show you with another one. So let's say the, the seventh fader here controls the volume, so you see it moves inside of the computer at the same time that I move the fader. So it's really great, you can assign anything that you want. Uh, I use the transport buttons here to change my patches inside of main stage. So the fast and forward here control the patches so I can really scroll through all the patches of my set list very easily. And the white button here controls the, the all whole sets. So if I have a whole song with like six patches in it, like this song, The Willow Tree, I can press the white button here and it's going to the next song automatically. So I can scroll very fast on it, okay? And I have some uh, samples too that are included that I assigned to the, the little pads here. So I have the intro of the show. And I can stop it here. I have other little things on my patches. So little samples to trigger during the show that I are here. That is the playback here. So if I, uh, I push the, um, the little pad here, you can see that the playback goes green. So it controls the playback on the, the main stage three. And I have some buttons here, two buttons. It's basically to show my second keyboard that I want my sustain pedal to be active for both keyboards. Because the MIDI 64 uh, command is uh, a lot of the time is the sustain. So I wanted my sustain pedal to be uh, active for both. So you see that when I was pressing my sustain pedal, you see that it's down and it, um, it's going uh, yellow for the second keyboard to be active on the sustain pedal too. And you can see here on the interface that I can do a lot of splits and layers. So I have strings, I have a pad and a piano, I have other strings and I can change the octaves on them. I have some brass on the second keyboards and so on. So I can really easily change the sounds that I want and uh, toggle between the patches and all of that stuff. So it's really a great, great software for keyboards, but it can be used for many, many other things. Basically anything that goes uh, MIDI. So you could trigger the patch changes for the guitar and for the lighting of the show, a well uh, put out main stage three can be very powerful. But for me, I use it only for keyboards on it and then you have your here you have your channel strips and you can control pretty much everything that you want you have the volumes you have the panning you can put some plugins on it and do some EQs to your sound so you have a lot lot of controls that you can do uh, to mix your sounds and have them sound the best way possible so I think it pretty much sums up my whole setup for my keyboard gig with Mystery. If you have some questions, please tell me in the comment section below. I know there's a lot of tech going on for that kind of uh, gig setup for Mystery. I was using a Roland Phantom G8 in the past with the band, but the problem is that it's too heavy to bring on planes. It's very, very heavy. That's why I changed my setup to a computer and controller keyboards, because the keyboards are only controllers. There are no sounds inside of them. It's only 
done with the softwares on the keyboard. So if there are no sounds, it means that there, there's no electronic components inside of them. So it's very, very light compared to other keyboards. Actually, the Keylab 88 is uh, the lightest keyboard controller with a piano touch. That was very important to me to get a piano touch on that keyboard because that's what I like. But the second, it's a very lightweight touch for more leads, okay? So once again, tell me in the comment section if you have questions and until next time, au revoir.